कोविड उन्नीस का नवा वेरियंट सामने आने तो बाद ओंटारियो वालों भी बूस्टर शॉर्ट्स लिए कमर कस ली गई है हूँ वैक्सीन की तीजी डोज पाप बूस्टर डोज ली ओंटारियो सरकार वालों पाँह साल तो इस तो वो उम्र के सारे लोगों योग करार दिता गया है ओंटारियो के चीफ मैडिकल अफसर डॉक्टर किरण मूर ने दसिया कि तेरह दिसंबर तो ओंटारियो सरकार पाँह साल और इस तो वो उम्र के निवासियों कोविड उन्नीस वैक्सीन बूस्टर डोज लोगता वा रही है We reported the 10,000th death from COVID-19 in Ontario. This number represents loved ones, families, friends, and co-workers. It's a stark reminder of the toll that this pandemic has taken on our province, on our communities. I want to extend my deepest sympathies and condolences to all those that are grieving, and thank you to all those health. care workers that provided care to these individuals and those that continue to try to prevent this disease by working at immunization centers, assessment centers, and also continuing to provide care. In the last few weeks, we've seen our case counts increase with flare-ups in various regions across the province, and the highest rates of transmission are occurring in our north. I want to thank our local public health agencies for their continued commitment to protecting the health and well-being of their populations and for implementing additional public health and workplace safety measures as needed in response to any rise in cases. On a positive note, Ontario still has one of the lowest weekly case rates in the country and our hospitalization and ICU occupancy remain stable. As we continue our vaccine rollout of first and second doses, I am pleased also to announce that we are expanding our COVID-19 vaccine booster dose eligibility. Beginning Monday, December 13th, individuals aged 50 and over will be eligible to schedule their booster dose appointment. In addition, effectively immediately, Individuals receiving dialysis are eligible for a third dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. Beginning in January, Ontario will further expand eligibility for booster doses based on age and risk with an interval of six to eight months from the second dose. We are also recommending revaccination with the COVID-19 vaccine series post-transplantation for individuals who receive hemopoietic stem cell transplants, hemopoietic cell transplants, and recipients of CAR T cell therapy due to loss of immunity following therapy or transplant. 